What's up, guys? I was tagged in a video by my homie D Eyes, as you can see here, and uh, she had some questions for me. So, first of all, shout out to you, D Eyes. You know, I got a lot of love for you, and I'm looking forward to checking this out. Sorry it took me so long. I've been going through a lot of private family issues. And I've been wondering if I should share those issues. I'm not sure yet. D. Eyes, maybe you can give me some advice on that. But family, here we are. Let's see what we got. What's up, YouTube? All right, so as promised, and I'm sorry, dang, that it took me a little bit longer Forget to about make it, this D. video for you. Forget about it. No, no, no. Um, and if... if at any time, the question that I ask you is something that you don't want to answer. I respect that. Appreciate you. It was just kind I'm of a, hard for me to. I'm an open book. Come up with some questions. So, all right. So the first one is, what is your biggest goal in life? I'm gonna stop it right there. My biggest goal in life, I always say that I want to climb the highest mountain and I want to explore like the deepest trenches. So my biggest goal in life is to one, follow my heart, two, explore the world, and three, just be happy. I know a lot of people uh, go after money. They make money their biggest goal. Um, me, I just want to be happy and I just want to follow my heart. I know it sounds absolutely crazy and ridiculous, but it's the truth. Money has nothing to do with it for me. I would like to have some though, you know? Support the, support Question our channels. Two, what or who got you into riding um, ATVs and bikes? Okay. Was there somebody that made you want to do it or did you just one day say, oh, this looks cool, I want to do this? Good question. Because, you know, I already told you, I want to do it too. But I need you to teach me because I don't know how. All right. What got me into ATVs and motorcycles was her question. When I was a kid, we didn't have YouTube and I would I would have dirt bike magazines to anybody that's old enough to remember. Dirt bike magazines were a thing, just like the car magazines, Auto Trader and all that. They used to have dirt bike magazines that would give the reviews of the latest dirt bikes, the latest gear. And I was always so fascinated with dirt bikes. Um, I always wanted one. They always look fun. They always look cool. And when I was a teenager, my uncle got me a dirt bike. Having a dirt bike taught me how to have fun in the trails. It taught me how to ride on two wheels, switch gears, and naturally that led to a motorcycle. Um, and because I was already used to trail riding, that kind of got me into ATVs. Actually, one of my buddies got me into the ATVs because he would always let me borrow his. And um, eventually, I would go on to buy one myself, and now I have both, and I'm always riding. Motorsports is probably one of my favorite pastimes. All right, number three. Good question, is, thank you, D. What is one place in the world that you would love to travel to? Because I know you do be traveling, but is there one place that you haven't visited that you want to? Um, right now, Africa is at the top of my travel list, travel bucket list. Um, I would like to get to Europe. Um, I am going to the Dominican Republic next month by myself. It's a solo trip. I am hype. I am anxious, scared, excited, all that. Um, but I would say South Africa um 
I've really given it some thought. It, uh, there's a few countries in Africa that I would love to visit. Um, I would also like to see the Grand Canyon in Nevada um, because I hear it's breathtaking. Um, and I heard that the pictures never do it justice. So I would like to go to the Grand Canyon and I would like to go to Africa. Those are probably um, my two top travel destinations. I also want to go to Vegas too and Thailand. I want to go where the monks are, wherever they, the, the monks, the Shaolin monks, I want to go there and just forget about everything for like two weeks. All right, number four is I'm famous to your city. Would you teach a girl how to ride an ATV? Of course, like, D. I don't know because you'd be scared of me when you'd be driving fast. You could get on the but back. I would love to go. ATVing. I, it's easy. Not I sure can teach I would you that. Drive yet, but I would love to go ATVing. You can do both. Anytime you want to come All to right, Connecticut, five let me is, know. Would you be down for a YouTube meetup if I got a couple people to meet, maybe yeah. halfway? Yes. Um, yes. Would you be down for a meetup? Absolutely. Let's do it. You're not that far. All right. Number six. Have you purchased any new firearms and or accessories yet or is there a firearm or something like holsters or whatever that you are in the process of buying or something that caught your eye so have you bought one or accessories or is there any that caught your eye that you want to get um there are I have not made any new firearms purchases aside from upgrading my holster from a soft one to a strong one. But um, yeah, I think uh, what I'm looking to get is the life card gun. It's more of a novelty gun that looks like a wallet but um, and a shotgun. I need a shotgun as well. <laughs> All right, number seven. Um, now this is one of them questions that you I would be res I would respect if you didn't want to answer um but what was it like growing up where you live at or where you did live or where you live because I'm not sure if that's where you're at now is where you grew up so well I grew up I'm from Hartford Connecticut Hartford Connecticut is the capital of Connecticut it's also uh, a very poor city it's one of those cities where um People come from the burbs, they get there, they work, and then at five o'clock they all leave. And this is the city that no one wants to drive through. Um, it is, it was tough. I've probably seen more violence and more situations that involve illegal firearms um, that I care to admit to admit um, or talk about. Um, but I now live in the burbs. Um, and, uh, I always found stuff to do. I was always outside, even as a kid. I always had a, a great group of friends, still got them. And, um, yeah, yeah. I got to go. Like growing up where you lived at. I got to go to a meeting soon, D, and I, I timed this terribly. But I got so much love for you. Is that? Let me see if you got another one. I owe you the same list. All right. And number eight, my last question. If you could change one thing about your life what would it be and why or would you keep everything the same if i could change one thing about my life i would have been born in florida or somewhere tropical or i would have been blessed with more friends that like to travel and get out and do stuff i love um, the friends i have and we do travel but i really have a wanderlust right now i'm trying to get out and see the world D, I I love you. I'll talk to you soon. And I have questions coming your way. All right? Friends and family that are watching, take care of yourself for us. And we're going to take care of ourselves for y'all as always. Let's get together. Make the whole world believe us. You heard? Peace.